Hello there, Don Anderson here. This is just a follow-up little discussion on the tube amp versus the modeling amps. And uh, a couple of comments were great. You're gonna, not going to hear the end of this one. <laughs> and I know that. I was one of those guys. Believe me, I've been playing for almost 50 years. I, I, I was on both sides of that fence coming up when they were first coming in. I said, fuck that. I don't want to know about that digital shit, you know, taking over from my analog, squeezy, warm, wet, flowing. <laughs> um, but point being, and some thank you for remembering me after freaking 10, 12 years, for crying out loud, uh, the XD, XD, uh, Super Champ XD. Yes, I still have my Of course I have it. That was actually my first um, modeling amp that had modeling and I didn't even know what modeling was in those days I, I truly didn't I mean, it was like it was about 14 years ago I was coming right out of the tube amp world I didn't even look I didn't go to a guitar center for years I didn't need to dude I've been playing you know I had my own store for many years I don't know if people knew that I had a store for about 25 years back in the day from the late 70s which was the golden era of instruments and amps I had my choice of white do I want a white uh, Tremolux head or do I want the tweed one or the... They were all over the place. They were easy to get. So that's what I came out of. We were all tubes. And then this modeling thing became... In the beginning, it was just modeling um, circuits they were trying to add in. And the Super Champ was a great example of that. Not the, There was amps before that one. That was just the first one I got. And somebody out there said they had the Katana. And I, I had a Katana here. I didn't keep it. I had it here for a reason. They, they took one, gave it to me to try out for a certain function, and it didn't work out. Not that I didn't like it. It just didn't work out for what I was doing. But like that amp. And it's a modeling amp. Of course, it's a modeling amp. Uh, but I don't have one of those. And that's the uh, Katana right now, I believe, is still the, the single most popularly sold amp in the, in, on the market. Um, I, if I'm not right on, it's, it's next. The, the one that's coming up the outside lane is the little spark amp that somebody also mentioned loves his spark. And uh, I love my spark. I should I should have plugged it in today, but I I just do these on a whim. You know, I say, I got to get ready for this thing. Anyway, I want to say thank you for remembering the video after 13, 40-something years when that XD one I did. And the only reason I did that one, and this was not about modeling, it was just about... I just wanted a small amp for my studio. My studio was much smaller in those days, obviously, in those days. But, and I was looking for somebody to give me some guidance online. And this is 13, not a long, you know, not an ages ago. 13, 14, 12, 13, 14 years ago-ish. There was nothing. People either couldn't play at all. To, I can't tell what that sounds like because you suck. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> no judgment. I don't need to hear you play. But I just wanted to hear the amp correctly and I couldn't. The only reason I sat down and did a demo on it, after I already bought it and loved it, I didn't care. I just wanted to do it. I'm going to do a demo of what I was trying to find online. Just give me something like that. I'll show a, a guy that sort of knows what his ear hears and, and shows you that. Um, anyway, a bunch of years later, I uh, knee-deep in this stuff, and I love tube amps. I love all about them. And I love my modeling amps. And um, Helix is, my, is the one I use the most if I were using one but again i have all the other amps as well anyway that's it keep the comments going i love that discussion if you have any questions i'm happy to i'll try to answer them the best i can um but i love this shit and i'm gonna keep on doing it until i can't look down at dirt anymore all right thanks a lot for listening i'll end it with a little bit of that blues number and see if we can tell if this is live or memorex <laughs>
lot for listening. Take care, man.